avocados from Mexico. I forgot about that. That was coming from a YouTube video. <laughs> Because oh. I was watching a YouTube video and music was playing, and then there was just <laughs> avocado from Mexico. Technically, it did just come from a YouTube video because I had forgot to mute my own stream, so I just heard an echo of it. Which then, because Amazing. I heard an echo of it, creates an endless loop. I couldn't like. I'm now just. I'm going through fucking. I downloaded what do you call it? Uh, better Discord just because I fucking can't be bothered doing this. A lot of stuff, actually. The reason I didn't have it before, well, the reason I never got it before was because fucking it took, um, easy couldn't run it. It slowed down Discord so much for me, but oh well. So, what the fuck is better Discord? Basically, it's a plugin that you put into Discord and you can download in plugins. Like themes for Discord, if you want. Okay, I was I was about to say like that's an answer, but it answers literally nothing. Like there's a plugin that lets you double click messages to edit them, so you don't need to you know right click and click edit. Quality of life stuff like that. That does sound nice. I mean, it sounds nice, but I'd also forget about it and end up never using yeah. it. And there's one that I don't know why Discord hasn't put this in yet, but why can't why isn't why isn't there like an automatic thing when you go to Discord and active on it, it puts you online. And if you've been inactive for a certain period of time, it puts you offline. Uh, That's like the basics of a messaging th platform. Yeah. And Discord doesn't have it. Yeah. I mean it's stupid. Yeah, that really should be- what the, what the fuck? Nah. What? Okay, I had to make sure I didn't accidentally spawn into arcade, because I got a uh, fucking Golan Heights and somehow got an air spawn. Did they fucking make an oh, EC yeah, version added. of Golan Heights? Uh, no, they just they just added it, air spawns to it. I don't know why. Yeah, there's did. there's two airfields now, which is what made me think it was EC. It seems like it's a lot bigger. Like, I spawned in, got an air spawn, and, like, thought I was having a stroke and fucking selected arcade by accident. Alright, Kaboom does not know how to spell air spawns. But eight spawns. Also, I fucking hate air spawns. You do. They're fucking terrible. Although, I didn't hear any sonic boom, so it might, they. I don't know. That's the only thing I hated about air spawns before. Is, uh. Like, if I'm not. Playing. If I'm playing with Thunder. And I'm not using my headset, and it's going through my desktop speakers. You would get like city, and you get all the just rapid sonic booms, and it would vibrate the fuck out of my desk. Oh, I see. I fucking hated it for that. Uh, I also hate air spawns just because there's always one person that crashes on takeoff. And with air spawns, it kind of eliminates that. I like watching people crash on takeoff so I can laugh at them. Yeah. Because it takes a very special amount of autism to crash on takeoff. It is the easiest thing you can do. Why is my sparrow- Sometimes it happens to you, but usually it's a glitch, so... Yeah, um... Lock. Sparrow, dude- No? Cool? Why? I've launched two sparrows and they both just go straight to the fucking ground. Nice. <laughs> cool. And now the guy that I wanted to kill is dead. That's great. I love this game. First match in top tier, and I already don't want to play it anymore. Amazing. 
it that bad. Bro, fucking two sparrows and they both just go straight towards the ground after I fire them. Yes, it's that bad. That's not gonna. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it can hit anywhere. Your BF109 will give my F15 a proper challenge. I mean, I'm willing to do that. That one's left something out of pocket. Ugh. This one's already made it. Why? Yeah, I really don't like this fucking air spawn because, like, most of the people are already dead. It Look, actually went a lot people quicker. People complain uh, that the map's too big, so then they add they add an air spawn. Obviously, that's the logical solution. Yeah, I'll I'll say this: the people who complain that the maps are too big are fucking idiots. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, if your main complaint about the game is that the maps are too big, there is a very like, big sorry. differential in skill. That's like, I'm sorry, bro, but they're adding fucking Fox 3's next update. I'm not sure I want 40 kilometer by 40 kilometer maps where you take off and you're immediately at, like, 20 kilometers launch range. Yeah. <laughs> That's just not fun. I'm sorry. Yeah, I... Go play fucking an arcade game. Go play fucking Ace Combat if you want to do that, man. No, I, I want more big maps. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be easy. I just want big maps in general. And especially at top tier. That's what the aircraft were originally designed for, is, like, long-range air-to-air engagements. Zaya, how you doing? Also, this motherfucker... Who wants to fight my fucking F-15 and his BF-109 is actively in a match. So, I spent nine hours yesterday speedrunning a game. Because I had to, like... I had 40 days to do a bunch of stuff and, like, a new quest that they put in the game. And, uh, I waited till the last day to do it all, so I spent, I spent t nine, ten hours doing it. Thing is, I sped run the I sped run the quest and everything, right? Yeah. Didn't read any dialogue. Did not care about the characters. Then someone died, and I still felt sad. I'm like, how the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I sped run the dialogue, didn't pay attention, and I still feel sad that this person died. How the fuck do you manage to do that? Oh, dude. Fucking Far Cry Six. I just recently replayed Far Cry Six. And there's one character in the game that dies, and it makes me so sad every time. He was my favorite fucking what character in the entire game. Is it Julio? <laughs> is it what? Is it Julio? No. Damn. Someone else dies other than Julio? Damn. I, I don't even remember a Julio. <laughs> Far Cry 6, like the, the Gus one, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You don't remember Julio, the guy at the start that's like, fuck you, and then you do like one mission together, and he's like, you all right. And then he gets beaten to death? I do not. Damn. F in the chat for Julio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying enough. so hard to remember this now. Slade, you will get the body pillows. Eventually. Also, what a way to make War Thunder look better by putting a Valorant ad, like on a War Thunder stream. What do you mean? Slade got a Valorant ad on the stream. Oh. 
And Valorant <laughs> is fucking nice. terrible, so that's a great way to make War Thunder look better. Dude, I would I would say go play CSGO, but CSGO is terrible as well now, so it's like, it's, it's a lose-lose, dude. There's no good, like, shooter like that. Okay, Zayo, I was about to invite you. Oh shit, there you are, never mind. I was gonna say you're not online, so I can't invite you. But then I see you online. I don't know if you just got online or if I'm having a stroke, but one of those things is a possibility. Both. <laughs> Probably both, yeah. <laughs> you did not just say Rainbow Six Siege is more fun, dude. They ruined that game. What did they do? Look at what they did to my boy. Siege was never fun. Siege was fun, and then they decided to turn it into, like, they just ruined it. <laughs> no, I fucking... What are we playing, boys? Uh, what's the best you got? I have 11-3. Or 11-0. <laughs> um, I'm fine with dropping down to either 11-0 or 11-3, honestly. 11-3 is fine. Alright. Alright. I have Kronos 2000 with six fucking pythons at 11-3, because that's fair. Go fear C7, let's go. But yeah, fucking Siege, I remember, uh... F4S Phantom. Oh, yeah. A couple years ago, um, when I was dating my ex, she bought me Siege for my birthday. It was, like, 2018. No, 2019. One of those. Maybe 2020. I'm, I'm, yeah. It was a couple years ago. We'll go with that. <laughs> um, so, a like... A long, long time ago. How yeah. dare Slay say that's, no, oh, that's a war crime in chat. But, uh, I already had a friend that had Siege, so I, I tried it with him. And I couldn't even get through a single match because every match I got into, I was being kicked for being level one. So I have right. Siege, but I don't even have an hour of gameplay in it. And I will never touch a game I'm... ever again. Sounds like you experienced the Rainbow Six Siege community right there. The community <laughs> yeah. spirit. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the community on its own just ruined the game for me in the first match. <clears throat> Do you have minimum fuel? Uh, I got 15 minutes. Even though it said 26. <laughs> I knew you were accelerating too fast. <laughs> Man, I love this game and how it just doesn't give this, you the fuel uh, that you select. This uh, yeah. custom again changes the uh, color of the afterburner. I have... So, the afterburner is blue. Mm, I have a, like, I have a particular file that I have saved that I can just put into any custom skin that changes the afterburner to that color because I prefer that. But, you know. Yeah, I've got a skin on my MiG-20, like the first MiG-29 that turns it to like a sort of purple. It makes it look more real. I really well, can't I remember think, the color, but it, it's really nice. I think that um the fucking... What's a PVD HDN for my... You pull software head on. Wow. So should I use that or regular SRC? Uh, just, 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 just use the uh, ACM mode. Uh, you can get to that. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, that's just uh, the best one. ACM PD if you can. ACM AUT. You mean auto? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that one works. Yeah, but I think the fuel load thing, it's like, it only works. Now, if you, sele if you select the presetted ones, it doesn't work. You have to select it on the adjustable one, and then set the adjustable one to what you want for it to be like that every game, I think. I don't know, but it's pissing me off how it's, like, it keeps fucking me out of fuel. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure... Look, this could be Israeli in my jet on the console. Or... I'll put it in general. Or... It could literally just be Star Wars letters. I literally don't know. So, dude is asking. Because I'm not sure about you. Dude is asking if Star I'm a Wars nerd. Letters. Like I don't have a fucking space shuttle skin on my F-15 and the thumbnail for the fucking stream. Also, yeah, the guy ahead of me. His name is Anal Scrapper. He scraps anals for a living. Should I use H yeah, what a job. HMD Auto? Oh yeah, definitely use HMD. Okay. HMD, you can just point your mouse and then lock yeah. the guy. Way easier. Yeah, I'm they glad. Have Mirage two Ks. I'm glad Paperthick is here to answer your questions because they just gave the F4 more uh, radar modes. I have no fucking clue how to use. Hmm. 
Like, Tyler was asking me about something the other day, and I was completely clueless. Oh, that's why someone said imagine He's dropping not. $20 on a jet, on $75 on a jet. It was an F-20. Hmm, so and the F-20 is bombing? Holy shit. <laughs> why? Who knows? At least you could get there and Damn. bomb faster than if, uh, you know, never mind. Faster bombing than an F-5E, that's for sure. Oh fuck, I just remembered, uh, they fucked the kefir, and now it wing rips really easily. Yeah, and then the rudder just doesn't work. I love a tiny bit of vape cloud that stops my missile from locking, that's always great. I, uh, I have a couple people. There's a missile on you, Zayo. Two missiles on you, actually. Yeah. Why did my missile fucking switch? Why? Stop! Cool. He'd be dead by now if my missile didn't want to lock you instead of him. You're good. Alright, another missile on you? Where? Oh, Fuck. shit. Yep, no. <coughs> Bro, why? Too... <sighs> Too slow. Yeah, I kept trying to fucking. Oh, nice. I kept trying to lock you. Uh, but the Kafir's rangefinder thing was like, nah, you're gonna lock the other guy. No. So it just, it just wanted to lock you instead of him. Wait, 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 wait. You were trying to lo lock me? I was trying to lock him. My mouth is moving faster than my brain can keep up right now. <laughs> like, why me? <laughs> you're not supposed to kill me. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of Will I dog for the Yak one for one? Yes. Could I? Probably not. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, he's gotta be a certain speed to use VTOL. Yeah, I mean it doesn't even matter at that point. He could just like he outpulls every plane in the game easily. Bro, what the fuck is the rangefinder even doing? It is targeting moving targets. That's why I don't use it. Yeah, it's it is putting the fucking uh, sensor, seeker head from a missile, everywhere except where I need it to be. Apparently they gave it a radar. Man, I remember when it had a radar. Good times. Give me the fucking lavy at this point, man. I mean, it did have a radar in real life, so it should yeah, have it. It's like in a game. big upgrade, you know? Yeah. C2 versus C7, the big upgrade was a. Uh, one was the radar, the other one was a uh, fucking. the engine. Oh, uh, so you're telling me it had an even powerful engine? Even more. No, no, you, you have the powerful engine already. Okay. Yeah, that's already in the game. The radar is different. <laughs> I yep. also really want the fucking. what do you call it? Um, the, uh, the, um, the, the Lavi, yeah, the Lavi. Let's see. Yeah, so like, the Pythons are really fucking nice. They're, uh, if I remember right, what, 40G all aspect missiles? I tried to check. I'm pretty sure it's 40G. Pythons are great. Yeah. Fucking incredible. Take a 9L and just make it better. Yay, this map again. Make sure you grab your fuel. No, I'm just gonna take a minimum fuel. I'll afterburn, lose all the fuel instantly, but I'll be light and maneuverable. Yeah, a 40G missile at 11.3 is fucking insane. The only missile I would say is better is like the R73, because it's 40G, but it gets uh, thrust vectoring. Yeah. But I still like the uh, AAM3. Very good. I if they gave yet. the AAM3, if they gave it the, um like, 
Because they made the fins so big on it to make like the maneuverability on it really well good. Uh, but you know, it doesn't have. It could pull more, I think, but you know, not sure we want that. Yeah. Speak for yourself. That lock looks tasty up there, alien. Be a shame if I pulled up. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, see, I didn't think so. Yeah, the funny part. Therefore, EJ Kai could also get AM3s, but. Uh -huh. <laughs> Your vapor cone actually made me panic for a second. Because I only saw it on the underside of your aircraft and it looked like a smoke trail from a missile. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kaboom, did the F-14B have the M9Ms? I feel like it did. I just can't remember. <clears throat> okay, so it did. Yeah. So why the fuck doesn't it have it in game? Because Gaijin. Yeah, pretty much. Gaijin never wants to give the US anything nice. I would have. Why would it? Anytime they give US people something nice, they complain and say it's shit. <clears throat> they gave them the Block 50, and guess what? They still complain that they didn't get AIM-120s when they got the Block 50. They're like, why don't we get AIM-120s? And I'm sitting here like, dude, you don't- so you want to, do you want to be the only country with AIM-120s? Fuck you. Yeah, now we're just in an era where they give, like, they'll give the US the first fucking variant of whatever aircraft that they ever made. And then they give Russia something for like 20 years later. That's a hell of a lot more advanced. Yeah, it's but so, then they make the Russian thing really bad. It's so more advanced. It pisses me off either way. Hey, cool. We got an F-15A to fight a flanker and a MiG-29 SMT that have HMD. I have four kills. Oh, shit. Alright, um... That would be why I haven't seen any enemies. They're behind me. Yeah, I looked back a little bit ago, and there was nobody there. Look back now, and the entire team's behind me. I have five kills because that guy jade out in front of me instead of d doing anything. Okay, cool. Freest ace of my life. Man is over here complaining about the ace he just got. Dude, I, uh, <laughs> I shot missiles and got an ace. Game is stupid. And people say this is hard. Fuck this, dude. I hate this. Oh, shit. Oh! Okay. Um... So that's great. I'm gonna try to launch a missile at the F-20. I will probably die. If I live, I'll ah, try to RTB. Win, yeah! It just fucking popped off. I love the mock cone. So great. <laughs> that's also a great addition to the game, the mock cone. Yeah, that's it not... It blinds you anytime you try to aim. And it has absolutely no sense of realism whatsoever. Yep. It's fun fact, you, you do not gonna, uh, you do not get a vapor cone for going mock. That's just not a thing. Can and a make gonna... fifteen can a make fifteen oh, bis turn faster than a G ninety one pre series? Uh yeah. The pre series says twenty seven seconds and the fifteen okay. says. I'm gonna give you a hot tip. Fuck the stat card. 
Yeah, the stat card turns on goes off with the rudder. At the least that's what that I've heard. Matters? It's not accurate. The only, the only thing that matters is the, the max speed, the at height, and that's about it. But, is it, is the MiG-15 best better? Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the only things that matter are the fucking rate of climb, max speed at height, and max altitude. Fuck the turn time. That shit is the max most... Max speed is 657, and rate of climb is 6... Well, the G90, my G91 also is upgraded a bit, so... Oh, uh... cool. We could play 9-3. Yeah, I'm down for 9-3. 9-3? Oh, yeah. I only have 9-7. Oh, Bro, I am fine with the up tier. See, 9-3 in the yeah. Italian tree, there is a secret weapon. Let me do something real quick. Yeah, see, Kaboom gets it. They need to add vapor on the wings when pulling at high Gs. That's what I was gonna yes, say. Yes. That's what we should have gotten. Absolutely. I've been waiting for that for ages, man. When I yeah, have mom, bro. Yeah, because like fucking... You, you're, you're gonna update everything, but not add that. Fuck you. <laughs> like I said, a fucking vapor cone for going mock is not a thing. That does not happen. Knowing... Knowing guys, you know that they'd probably break it. Yeah. Um... Somehow, they'd probably break see. it. see. The vapor cone, it has a name. Um... Oh yeah, I should not even I I should not even attempt to pronounce this. The vapor cone that's in game. Uh um the pran something glower singularity. Uh is a theoretical construct in flow physics often incorrectly used to explain vapor cones and transonic flows. It is the prediction by the something transformation that infinite pressures would be experienced by an aircraft as it approaches the speed of sound. Yeah, that might not be right either. Um, What's it called? Here, I'll... I'll send it in Bingo's. Or not Bingo's, fucking general. There's yeah, actually, I'm not gonna try and say that either. yeah. There's actually <laughs> a really cool uh, thread on Twitter. I'm sending it in the stream chat and I'll send it in the Discord as well. Um, it's by a physics professor. I forget what fucking university. Um, but he actually goes over how the vapor cone is not has like no relation whatsoever to go and mock. Really. All it is, it's just pressure waves. It's basically, like... It, it, seeing vapor on an aircraft traveling at a high rate, of spout, high rate of speed, it's not because you're going supersonic. It's you're going fast enough that you are condensing vapor out of the air. You are quite literally squeezing moisture out of the atmosphere. And it's causing a mist on your plane. Yeah. Also, uh, paper thick. Do you want to ready up? That would be a very good idea. Yeah, it would. <laughs> That'd be an amazing idea. Wow, that's the best idea you've had yet, <laughs> Alien. <clears throat> oh, I can think of several other really good ideas. Like, for example, committing tax fraud. That is a professional, great <laughs> idea. Yeah. Need my fuel load just in case. Oh shit, uh... I'm going to take my drop tank. See, this is a when... drop tank? Yeah, it gets oh. a drop tank now. Yeah, with this update, I think. Yeah, the fucking the Ariete, the cosmo the fuel slider is really nice. Um 
Because it's not like I always take men fuel, but then there's times where it just isn't enough, so I can take fucking 12 minutes and have plenty. Solid. I'm really glad I was looking behind me as that happened. Huh? The guy who just crashed on takeoff. Oh, yeah. I want to make a joke about the only map you get being uh, Afghanistan. I just can't think of a way to word it, but something, something, United States invasion of Afghanistan. I'm sure you can figure so it out. If you turn upside down. I thought if you turn upside down, it wastes or it uses the regular fuel. Nope, it's using the fuel from the drop tank just fine. Yeah, because it's a dragon. Yeah. Uh, we have someone going uh, to space, twenty-three thousand <laughs> yards away. The fuck you want us to do? Uh, nothing. I'm just letting you know. And, you know, I can see him. <laughs> oh yeah, we can see him too. He is, he's up there. It appears it's we probably have an F-104. Well. I'm not laughing at what Zaya's saying, I'm laughing at the chat. Because I because of what I said about Afghanistan and Nelson, saying it's just, Oil, I need oil. <laughs> Alright, I need to get a bit below Mach. No, actually, that's transonic. And that is an F-104. Hey, wait, no, I want to... Uh, cool. cool. I want to oh, yeah, fucking shut up, paper thick. I want to uh, take credit for telling you how to fight with the MIG, but I have no memory of ever doing this. Is that F one hundred really gonna come fight me? Oh, okay. Kaboom is on the enemy team. Of course, really? he's probably in an F one hundred four, isn't he? Wouldn't surprise. Or CM. yeah, fuck. I can guarantee you he is. Yeah, he is. Cool. What's he in? A 104. Oh, nice. Yeah, the real shocker is he's not at a really high altitude. Oh, fucking hell. I avenge you. Never mind, he dodged it. Why can't I ever just get a dog oh, fight? Oh, miss on you, a uh, paper thing. Why does there always have to be somebody else to be behind me? Bro, third parties. I fucking hate people. Yeah, it really pisses me off whenever I'm having a really good dogfight and somebody has the third party. I just completely ruin it. Whether I get killed I don't or whether they up here. Oh shit, that's a mountain. Like, I was pulling right over that F5 and he was about to die because of. Uh, he, he decided to turn up, and that's the Draken's strength, because if, like, once you go up, um, and you just go to turn upside down, or, you know, you know what I mean, it'll, it literally just pretty much has a, you know. It doesn't I'm stall. Sure you know. Yeah, it doesn't stall. It has a low stall speed. Extremely, fa extremely fast turn speed. I can't fucking English. Ew, hey, you know, now you know how I feel. <laughs> uh, I wish there was a 9-7 tech tree racket I could play. Oh, it'd be so fun. What's the dragon in the tech tree? There is uh, none. It's 10-3. That's it. The only uh, choice you have. I mean, you could play that. Yeah, I could, but that's not 9-7. Like, you get a 9-7-1 as a premium, you get a 10-7-1 as a premium. E premium dragons? Ooh. Okay, so. But still, there's only one tech tree. But still, one's a bit worse and one's better. <clears throat> the middle of the line nice. one's in the tech tree, of course. See, what pisses me off more about that is I could see it if there was, like, multiple premium dragons, if it was in, like different countries if there was export versions but it's all in the same country hmm. 
You know it's... what annoys me though? British people? The fact that one of them, one of them is the J35A, which is he, which is what he's flying, and that's that's you know that was the first Draken, it's the first version of the Draken, yeah, which was from Sweden, but it's a premium. Then the other one's an export of a version. It, it should it, it, it fucking you know never mind. It's like I was I was like maybe you know maybe they're both exports. No, one of them's in the tech tree. The other one's like fucking oh whatever. Why did it put me at fucking full fuel? Yeah, fuck. Yes. That's why. You know, I could take full fuel and still do good in this. It'll sell it mm. out turn fucking everything. <clears throat> oh, great. And none of the planes... Most of the planes don't have any skin. Besides you. Paper thing. What up? <laughs> you're completely gray. I'm blued out. You're you're completely gray, and then oh. your anime girl on the back is just there. Like it's then... just that. That's <coughs> there. Is it not the T2 camo, or is it like just a gray? No, it's just gray. Oh, okay, then so it's not loaded. <coughs> I don't know what would be more annoying though. There's that or the occasional bug where everybody's uh, skin renders, but it's blurry, like just a really low quality skin. <laughs> That's been happening for years, and it still oh, pisses my, me off. Mine's just completely gray. It's just completely gray for me. So I don't know if it's <clears> bugged <throat> or what. Probability, likely. Oh, we got a team kill. I love the look of the T2. I know, it looks so good. There's just something... Well, power creep out of existence. It's, it went full circle. It was extremely overpowered when it first entered the game. That it was mid, then it was bad, then they added M9Ps to it. Oh, I keep forgetting they give it M9P. Is it still 97? Yep. Oh, fuck. I know what I'm playing next match. Because <laughs> I gotta fucking unlock M9Ps. Who needs flares, <laughs> am I right? Who needs flares if you have uh, rocket pods? As long as you're not going faster than Mark 1. Hey, to be fair, uh, the best missiles the enemy will get is R60s. So you really don't need flares. Yeah, forgot about those, but... At least for R60s you don't need flares. Things fucking suck. And they increased the ammo on it from like 500 to 750, which is nice. Long time ago though. And they decreased I the fuel consumption. Fucking shit. I hate this game. Oh. I don't know what I was aiming at, but it wasn't the fucking Su-25. I'm actually kind of mad because I've never done this bad in the area before. <clears throat> Synergy, I would not say the F-16C is the best looking plane in the game when the F-14 exists. Oh, 
drift. That hunter is not gonna have a fun time. I mean, yeah, it's a hunter. Against the Ariete. Yep, there it is. Is that the same one who killed me? Yes, it is. Now you can viably kill steel, steel kills. I know, I love it. Rewards. I genuinely love the uh, severe damage model mechanic. Just because that way, like, if somebody does see your kill, it's just not an issue anymore. Yep. You still get 80% of it. So, win win. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, because now if somebody steals your kill, they only get 20% of the reward. Like, yep. I'll take it. I mean, they still get a kill, technically speaking. Yeah. So, at the end of the game, they get rewarded for the kill. Yeah. They don't get the kill in the stat card, though, so... Oh, well, but who the fuck cares about that, am I right? I hit my wing on what? Why is my wing damaged? Okay then. <laughs> Thank you, game. <laughs> oh god, it's drifting so hard. Oh, bro. <laughs> Why? What fucking damaged my wing, man? I hit nothing. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah, if I had a wing area, but we're in Afghanistan, so that's a slight issue. It'll be fine. Yes. Go into the ground, use the orphanage as a cushion. Man, you deployed so, that wind and get early. Taking four missiles has more parasitic drag and a bigger um, max speed reduction than two missiles and a drop tank. Yeah. Well, to be fair, the drop tank is an overall smooth surface. Yeah, the missiles, the missile pike card point is. You got the all the stuff <clears throat> off you, you know, yeah, all the little clips and shit. I mean, like the missile is definitely meant to go through speed or through air at a much higher rate of speed, but there's a lot more to introduce drag on a missile than there is on a drop tank, so it it makes sense. But it's just yeah. you would think it'd be the other way. Yeah. But no. And God forbid you play the cheetah in sim. This thing on a cold start takes a good 30 seconds to actually start moving forward. I would rather hang myself. The engines take 50 years to warm <laughs> up, it's insane. Yeah, the Japanese were never good at warming up. We did help them on two separate occasions yeah, in 1945. They got real warm. Hey man, they had the hottest summers in that time. <laughs> yeah. How the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> am 
Like, you just imploded on the runway. That's amazing. Ocean Gate, but it's a T2. There's something about the ailerons on the T2. Just seeing them be that thick for no fucking reason. Excuse you. Spoilers. Damn. Yeah, this match has gone on surprisingly long. Yeah, last because the last two guys are just one of them's a Yak twenty eight, so Okay, yeah, that makes I think sense. how that goes. Funny part is I can catch that Yak twenty eight. I love seeing them try to outrun me, it's great. Yes, there is oil in Iwo Jima. Go invade. Get the oil. And then Lude enters the chat just to say he's gay, like it's a surprise to anyone. Yeah, more power to you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, I have Pulse Doppler. Found him. Yeah, the Pulse Doppler on a T2 has always bothered me, because it, for a while it always had one of the best radars, but it, you get no radar missiles. Oh god, oh no, okay then, thank god, the, the packet loss sp spiked for a second. The... I love how the dragon has a 1,140... Silver Lions booster. Tony, I'm gonna need you to elaborate oh, on what you mean by Fox, because I have no idea what you're talking about. What sort of bra- Yeah, he said play Fox, and I... The Fox, it's in... Oh, the... It's, uh, it's name it's is the, the Fox? It's the, yeah, it's the new Great, uh, Great Britain, um... 30 the ground, ground vehicle. Rat. Yeah, it's a okay, ground vehicle. That's why I've never heard of it. 90, stick a 30 mil on the top. Boom, that's it. Um, I really, really slow firing 30 mil. But, it does get a 110 millimeter <laughs> AP dip. Millimeter pinning APS APFSDS round or not APFSDS APDS Jesus Christ. Oh, also, I'm like, I'm taken aback at how bad the A5C is at the game. On a, he pulled up like it does great for me. <laughs> he pulled up like. Are you gonna finish that statement? Maybe, maybe, maybe like 2,000 feet behind me, I don't know. He pulled up like within 200 meters behind me. And then, instead of shooting his guns on the freest shot of his life, he shot a <laughs> missile and missed because it didn't proxy. <laughs> and then he just crashed into the ground. Solid. Hello, Yak28. Not gonna lie, I was really worried that you were gonna collide. Damn, okay then. I thought he had two <laughs> MiG-21 afterburning engines, but... No, that's fine. You know, I always forget it has flares. Though. It doesn't have a lot of flares, if I remember right, though. It's like 60. Okay, so it's a lot more than I thought. I thought it was like MiG-23 syndrome, where it gets like six flares. Why is he diving to get away from me? He will rip his wings before he gets away from me. <laughs> uh, now he's turning. <laughs> the MiG-23 doesn't deserve flares? Bro, that thing has such a big fucking engine. Without flares, it would die so fucking easily. Doesn't have the prestige of a vehicle like the F-14. I agree. Doesn't have prestige equal no flares. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'm probably gonna regret taking the T2, but I'm doing it. Fucking. Okay, fifteen thousand frame in NPs is not bad at all.
am I playing on EU servers? You'd think they fixed the bug where, you know, you only see one server. But you're actually the, the party leader searching for multiple. I've been there for about two years now. Hmm. Maybe they should work on that. Yeah, for me it was saying waiting wait are uh, waiting for players zero. Yeah, that too. That's also they also need to fix that. I was like, zero players are waiting? Jesus. Ain't nobody wanna play. Yeah, the the amount that it says is waiting for battle has never been accurate. <laughs> Alright, screw this. I'm just taking the drop tank. No missiles. What? That's not worth it. That is a bold plan. You know, at that point you want to take, take rocket pods for flares instead of the missiles. Yeah. Pony, we were friends on Discord. You either removed me or you blocked me. Because <laughs> I tried messaging you like last week. Holy shit, we got it down to you. <laughs> Did we? Yep. Oh shit, y'all just spawned. You, uh, this uh, scimitar and the U paper thick just spawned in right under me. I was like, oh fuck. Oh uh, cool, so your internet's dying. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yes, I have 125 ping. Well, it's Damn, a it's a European server, server. yeah, because my it, my ping is the same. Uh, I'm two hundred and eighty-five. Oof. Damn, <laughs> that's hot. Ping, ping don't matter in this game until you get to like the high four hundreds. <laughs> it's more packet loss at that point. Yeah, I've had perfect thirty-two ping or thirty ping, and then like. 99 packet loss, like, I, I don't get it. thing is, the thing you can deal with. Yeah, packet loss is when it really goes to shit. Because unlike all the games, if you have high ping in this game, it doesn't really affect your controlling of the plate. It affects everything else, including missiles, ma mainly. Shooting and dodging missiles is slower and harder. That's about it, though. Anyway, we are the fastest planes here, so. I'm a little sad by, uh, if you go into the cockpit just... on the T2 and, like, turn around, the pilot's neck doesn't look like a butthole in the T2. Because <laughs> most aircraft, if you look at, like, the neck, it looks like a butthole. Yeah, but I, apparently I turned, Japanese pilots don't have off. buttholes. Mig-17, A4E. I'm gonna go for... Uh, no, there's a hunter. Behind. I'm gonna push through the middle. A4E low. Synergy, where are you getting F4D from? Also, great plan. Very maneuverable. It's basically an American uh, early Delta wing. Yeah. It's cool, is what it is. I love it. Okay, it's in your match. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. I killed the biggest threat, maybe? No, it went for his deflated last second. Uh, careful, you have an uh, AV-8 on you. And an F-104 on you, alien. Oh, I love that for me. Damn, that's... A missile, missile. The Alpha Jet doesn't get missiles, right? Nope, it doesn't. Okay. I'm slightly less concerned now. Okay. Did not work out. I got the spectator you just in time to see you get hit. Damn that. 
Damn, what did that do to me? Jesus Christ. So, the neat thing about the Draken, uh, because of the way what it's the built, hell? if you get any damage to the wings, you lose pretty much all lift. That is fucked up. Yeah. The Vigan is the same way. I hate that. Yeah. It's not great. At least I gotta fucking kill it this time. But I mean, if you think about it, with the way the wings on the Draken are, it's basically a flying wing. So at that point, yeah, any damage completely doesn't. fucks you. Yeah, but you still have wing. Yeah, just pour oh, a Red Bull into hole? the intake. Oh, oh you have hole? Alright, you have... You have hole in your wing? Alright, we'll act like you ain't got any hole... Or any wings at all. Hey, bird. Try flying a tornado with, like, one of the elevators blackened. Not even taken off, just black. It is... Fucking impossible to pull up. Oh, same with the Sea Vixen. Which I mean, why it affects it that hard, but it does. In the A10, if you take out, um, what was it? One of the rudders, the whole plane cannot move. Solid. Amazing yeah. model. It's, yeah, and then. It is very weak, unlike the SU-25. I think they got the SU-25 and the A-10 mixed up. Uh, they should both yeah. be incredibly strong. A-10 definitely yeah. stronger than SU-25. Oh. I think it sims down to people bitching about the A-10 when it first launched, though, because when it first came out, it was very strong. It would take a lot of hits yeah. to take it down. And then now... People are bitching about how bad it is. Well, there goes this fucking tail. Oh, my favorite story about people bitching in War Thunder is the lightning. Because, yeah, <laughs> well, if you remember, when they first added the lightning, everybody was complaining that it was underperforming. And then you had, uh, like, Sitaris, whoop de doo and somebody else. Who actually got the flight manual for the lightning and did testing in game, and it turned out it was actually overperforming. And so again, Gaijin fixed oh, it. Man. The lightning just got hyped into oblivion, and then people were like severely overestimating what it was capable of. Man, they want to force just racing sticking these guys now. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> right, back to watching car crashes. Hey, they pulled off finally. Fucking a, dude. Man, the one thing I've learned tonight is not to play with paper thick if he's playing the T2, because the game will just go on forever. Apparently so, yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Okay, yeah, he did get fucked. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of pull you think you have, but it's not enough to scissor with me. <laughs> well, it's... There was a lot what's of his, very poor decisions that led to this moment. <laughs> what's he thinking here? I'm so confused. Oh, there goes his wingtip. Get fucked. <laughs> oh, cool. You shot off the wingtip of a plane that had no wings to begin with. Enjoy pulling up from that stall. I have no fuel, so... And I have no wing area, so... See, the synergy gets it. This this is why I miss talking to you. Manages under... Or, fuck. Understands. Yeah, if they added the F-22, people would still complain about something. I can definitely yeah, say there would be... about it not being stealth. <laughs> there would be a lot of people dying on takeoff with it, though. 
I'm so ready for the F-22 to get added to the game without the fucking stealth capability. Get locked. They get the people get locked from 80 kilometers away. <laughs> get a radar missile shot at them. It's like, dude, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> That's the only way they'd be able to balance the F-22 though, is if it's not stealth. Yep, pretty much. It, like, then there's no point in adding it. Yeah, well, I mean, okay, they could give Russia the Su-57, but then guess what? America still has a stealth fighter and Russia doesn't. <laughs> Because the exactly. C-57 is not stealth. It's low observability. Oh, we have stealth. No. Can still see you. Yeah, it's great when Russians like to claim that the Su-57 is stealth. Where you can take one look at it and tell that is not a stealth aircraft. Like, you don't have to be an aircraft designer to understand that thing has no stealth characteristics. What, uh, what, 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 uh... What plane was it that they found that it was literally just screws? Oh, the SU-57. the exact one. Yeah. Yeah, it, it had, like, fucking drywall screws. screws holding it together. Yeah. Like, what the... <laughs> yeah, and, that's really stealthy. Yeah. Um, and I know the U.S. <laughs> did a lot of, uh, like, testing off of, like, all the information they could get, I guess, through uh, spying on Russia. Uh, and it turns out the SU-57 has a similar radar cross-section to a clean F-18. Not even the Super Hornet, just the legacy well, Hornet. Did I get a drag shoot bat? What? <laughs> I landed, cut the drag shoot, took off, landed again, had a fucking <laughs> drag shoot? What? <laughs> also, I love how you Magic. blow up next to a tree and the tree just still keeps standing. All I had to do was beeline it straight to the runway with the fucking wheels, and I didn't. God damn it! It shows that it shows that tree mogging, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> that stupid nine seven. I can play. That's fucking stupid. Ah, <clears throat> oh, yeah, fucking stupid. Anyways, uh, y'all can play that. I'm going to play B fifty seven. Course you are. No so offense. so what I'm hearing is up to you to top tier. Sorry, covering it up fucking F fifteen. No, I, I didn't plan on using F fifteen. I was thinking uh SU twenty seven. I was thinking F fifteen because you know that's that like. Let's you know, take the B twenty nine into top tier. How's that sound? I like this even better. <laughs> I would get instantly shot down. Yeah. They would fire their mis they would fire their missile from the ground. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, so problem, hear me out. Back when you could actually destroy the enemy's airfield to end the game, I was playing with mm -hmm. General Lee. He took the B twenty nine into top tier. It was me. Like, it was just me and him in a squad. I had the F4E. Uh, he took the B-29. I take off. I form up yeah. on him. And the entire, like, team saw him in a B-29 and decided to escort him to the enemy airfield. Where he dropped all his bombs, destroyed the airfield, and won the game. Without killing a Tell single me. enemy. What is, uh... What does it give you for killing the airfield? Like, does it give you a special... You used to be win the game. Now you can't even destroy the airfield. So. Yeah. Which is stupid. Yeah. It really is. I wish you could still destroy the airfield. Because we would have uh, destroyed that. I would have destroyed the airfield with. Uh, in that. Or yeah. last night. Yeah. Yeah, with that four man B 29 squad. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, was amazing. Fun. What? Is this EC? Yes. Yes. Do a canyon run on the B-29. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I have a B-57. <laughs> Not the B-29. Wait, are Adjust we top here? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, 30 minutes. Canyon run it is. I'm dropping down. Oh, that's a jet, okay then. I thought you meant like B-29. Okay, that's fine. That's no. us that's usable. B-57. That is usable. 
<laughs> I ain't got no flares now. It's fine. Who needs them? Probably you, but still. <laughs> I almost forgot to go over. Oh, oh yeah, and you ran out behind me. Man took a fucking MiG-29. Hey man, I had pride of the SC-27. It's cool, but like, dude, I need flight performance, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. Does it not have enough flight performance for you? Oh, it doesn't. It <laughs> Despite that it's it faster, accelerates faster, it turns better. Turns better for the first turn, and then it becomes a complete fucking brick. Yeah, it's fine. So don't turn more than once, got it. Problem solved. <coughs> hey, the guy in chat go fucked. <laughs> Synergy, are you sure uh, that it's not your control presets entirely got reset? Because that happens. There was a couple of updates back, my control presets got completely fucked for both sim and RB, so and I'm so mad about it. Save them regularly. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the issue, is I had my control presets saved to my hard drive. They updated the game, control preset quits working, I load the same preset back into it, and it still didn't work. I had to create a new one. Damn. It broke it fucking hard. Never had that problem. Yeah, I'm really mad about it. The canyon run in the B29 would be <laughs> so hard. Yeah. Even more so since Hell, it wouldn't I'm scared fit. to even do it in the B57. But, I'm gonna do it. Because I'm here. Man, I fucking hate Poland. Dude, you got tons of room. I don't know if you can turn yeah, to keep up to with the it. Cornering pot. Yeah. B fifty seven actually has some pretty good a pretty good turn rate. Proven by the fact that you're not dead yet. Yep. I am pleasantly surprised. Hey, just wait till you get that one corner, bro. Which corner? There's like one corner in this canyon that's like a complete fuck. Oh, we got an F twenty doing the canyon run as well. I think we passed it. <laughs> Already. Uh, I think we did. Yeah. We're gonna meet this F-20 in the canyon. He's gonna get an R-73 straight up his face. Immediately. <laughs> there he is. He passed me. He passed me. <laughs> Fuck that guy up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Canyon run in the B twenty or B fifty nine or B fifty seven. Jesus fuck. It's actually very cinematic. He's pre flaring. What a con. Oh. oh, that doesn't matter. You got within a kilometer and you fired. Never mind, it hit a fucking Um mm. Yeah, I I don't know what that missile was doing. Five now. Uh, what a what a fair missile, am I right? pre flaring and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've got to fire it in between the pre flare cycle, and voila. What's he gonna do about it? Such a good missile. I should fly through the bridge. Like, long ways. What do you think the current bet is on a 16 kilometer kill? Uh, with the 27 or the 73? Okay, yeah. Uh, I got no clue. On an F-20. I know R-73s can make it 6 kilometers, so I'd assume an uh, R-27ET uh, can make it even further. Uh, 
Ah, man, I got killed by an SC-27 that wasn't spotted. Okay, cool. Alright. <clears throat> Back into the cannon on the RTV. Oh, shit. It's fucking kaboom. Yeah. Hey. No, nah, see. Cobra. Yeah, I cut burner and I started turning so I could like regroup with you, and then I hear a jet under me, and I look back and it's fucking kaboom. Wait, got him down. You're 50 cals, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh me? No. Fuck no, that's the Canberra, isn't I it? I no, I have the Canberra. I just don't have the right Canberra. Oh okay then. Yeah, what is it? The A or the B that gets the 50s? All right, all right. I see how it is, kaboom. Pull a Cobra fuck fire on R73, that's the only way you win this fight. Oh fuck, wait. Okay, yeah, that's not working. I wasn't even gonna- I couldn't even kill him, and he's like, Yeah, fuck you, let me throw an AIM-9M at you. <coughs> what happened to that fight performance you were so proud of? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Like I said, it turns into a boat. <laughs> That's why I fucking hate flying it, because it shouldn't be a fucking boat, but it is. <laughs> oh no, I blame you for telling me to Cobra and bleeding all my speed. Because either that or you're gonna just continue raiding him and then get fucked with, you know? <clears throat> oh well. I would have had him. Yeah, all, I, all I had to do is use the HMD to fire an R73. <laughs> Which, yeah, and for some reason I kept forgetting that I had that as a possibility. You Cobra without HMDing? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used the flanker in a little while. I forgot it's a thing. <clears throat> Yay. EC again. Then again, it is top tier, so it makes sense. Ugh. Yeah. Man, how much fuel am I gonna get? <clears throat> oh, cool, it actually gave me my fuel. <clears throat> Have a good night. <clears throat> Alright, well, I used to be able to do that. <laughs> you can tell there's some fucking surprised that the Gryphon can't Cobra. That actually makes more sense that the Gryphon can't Cobra. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Oh, they can still do some funky ass maneuvers though. Oh yeah. I don't know why I heard the sound like you passed oh, right, me right, when blue. you were still under me. Damn, that's sick. Just wait till we get a C variant of the Gripen, and then we actually, like, you know, 
And then we have like the C variant with the better engine, rather than the other fake C variants. Unless they're just going to add the better engine to every other C variant. All I want is radar missiles that actually work. Yeah, that too. That's all I care about. Being locked by a MiG-29, my mind is phasing the noise out. <coughs> okay, now it launches at me. Yeah, I'm gonna launch one and two. Probably from the same person. Also, the B-57B is the uh, cannon bearer that gets cannons in oh! hand. Did my own missile... ...kill me? Nope. Wait, yeah, no, so... Eons ago. Oh, I just got hit with the second missile. Um, I fired my missile and exploded instantly. And like in the bottom right, you know where it says like if you hit an enemy, uh, what damage they get. It was telling me what damage I got. Interesting. So I think my own missile exploded and damaged me. Rip. God, it feels really weird looking at the B-57 and not seeing massive, like, airliner engines on it. Because, uh, Why? NASA has a WB-57 that they use for high-altitude imagery, and it has massive, like, airliner engines on it. I'm gonna shoot down this F-27. <clears throat> Here, let's send oh, you... Please. Damn, I love having so many flares that I can just do that with. It's great. <laughs> I'm sending a picture of NASA's uh, WB-57 in general. That way you can see it. it all I can think of is WD-40. <clears throat> I mean, that too. I mean, WD-40. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is the entire enemy team over here? Oh yeah, 21 250 pound bombs. A lovely. Yeah, seems like we are known. Hey, uh, I do believe, didn't it? <clears throat> no. I was gonna say, I feel like the can bear had um, fucking <coughs> napalm. Rip something off. <laughs> Let me look at this. Oh, that thing looks sexy. What, the WB 57? Yes. Yeah. God damn, that thing's sexy. Yeah, fucking massive airliner engines. <clears throat> oh. I don't know the reason they, for the engine it looks change. Like bigger control surfaces, too. Yeah, well, I mean, it's meant to go the very high yeah, altitude. Yeah, so stratosphere, yes. So, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because <clears throat> um, the <laughs> WB 57 is, uh, if you ever watched, like. <clears throat> When SpaceX is returning crew from the space station, and they have the aerial footage of the capsule as it re-enters the atmosphere, that's how they get it, is the yeah. WB-57 with cameras on board. Mm. <clears throat> Same thing for any of the in-air footage from rockets in flight, like SLS, Starship. It's really cool. I don't know how I'm still alive. Yeah, I'm really surprised that you're still alive. Bro, there's only one enemy left alive. Which means you were not gonna That's die. Why. That's why. <laughs> and we have, what, pretty much a whole team? Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Uh. No, no, I'm not gonna do it. 
I was gonna say, hmm, I should go kill it. I should go kill him at his airfield. With the what? <laughs> the P the fifties. Oh, those are fifties. I thought that was a visual bug. <laughs> what do you mean? You have 50 cows on this thing? Oh, oh, this is the one with 50 cows. I get them. Yeah, this one is. <clears throat> I, I do. Look at the map. I'm like, ooh, I'm close. Then I look at the J of uh, the grip, and I'm like, ah, 15,000 yards away. Never mind. Yards. Yards. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Why? That's what I go by. God, and people think I'm bad for using feet. You are bad for using feet. But yards? It's not as bad as yards. <laughs> I don't know, it's just easier for me to understand. I'll, I'll give you this. One yard is almost equal to one meter. Exactly. Yeah, but at that point, just use fucking meters where it's in tens. <laughs> That would be a logical decision. <coughs> oh, I will <laughs> use American units. Technically, British and French units. I think it was the French invented the imperial system, then the British were like, hey, this is ours now. Then the US yeah. started using it, and then they both went up to a uh, metric, and US was like, nah. We're gonna keep using this. There's actually a lot of things that like only America does that the rest of the world hates. And it comes from either the French or the British. Cause you know, the Americans are like, we don't wanna do that, why would we do that? What a bitch. So, uh, I'm assuming you can't repair? Nope, uh, no. Wrong yeah. one. I didn't mean to send that in that. Uh, who was it? Uh, Broccoli. 27. Broccoli, where are you? No, ex ex explain planter bits or whatever. It was a teammate. I'm fairly certain it was an enemy. Nope, it was exoplanet <clears throat> orbits. I said it was. I mean, the the flanker was flying right over the airfield as he died, so it would make sense that it was. I don't him. know. Why is Kaboom just in the gaming chat by himself but streaming? Just he's, he's like that, you know. <laughs> he's live streaming, but to Discord. He's 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 reaching that other target audience, right? People live stream on some people live stream on Twitch, some people live stream on YouTube. He cover live streams on Discord in a way on his channel. He is Should the I main get character. Cover or wings repair? Huh? Cover or wings repair? Oh wait, this Whoa. is for my regular <laughs> B fifty seven. Uh. Well, what comes? What what's comes first? Uh, the yeah, wings repair is on three, and the cover is on four. The either one's fine. Probably cover though. <clears throat> I kind of want to do okay, the F4D. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna switch these uh, 50s out for 420s. Oh Hell yeah, yeah 420. Get, uh, yeah. 420. I don't want to do oh, the one. Um, the B-57B does <coughs> get, uh, Napalm. Nice. Too bad Napalm's dog shit in this game. Eh, I mean, it... For killing I, bases? It's really it's nice for killing bases. Bombs. It doesn't give you as much, uh, for bomb tonnage, but you get more points for it. Yeah, but you don't get as much RP. <laughs> but you make more SL. Yay, oh well. 420s. Probably gonna be my last one. Already? Oh, that kind of makes sense, actually. <laughs> All right. Uh, if it's gonna be, yeah. If it's gonna be your last one, do you want us to drop down and be here? 
That's up to y'all. Because the F3D I mean, is looking real good right now. I'm down. Well, it's still a slight up tier, but it's not a full up tier. And it's not top tier. Yeah. What was it you said? The F3D. It's the, the... the Skyray. Event vehicle. Ow. Which mine is bone fucking stock. Mine but I is love pretty it. much bone stock. So far, my F or B57. Yeah, I think I've only done like one match in this before. And it was basically out of spite because everybody was complaining about it ripping. So I played it, it to find out. out. It well, they fixed that out. like two weeks after it came out. It wasn't an issue no though. It was basically, it would only rip if you tried rolling while you were turning. As long as you didn't roll, it wouldn't rip. Or if you were going really high speed and pulled up a bit. Hear me out. <clears throat> B59 with eh, two or three F16 engines. Oh no, not two or three. A fucking two or four F16 engines. Oh, at that point, just just stick a fucking F fucking Vigan engine in it, bro. At that point, just since technically speaking, it's an airliner engine, so you could just stick two of those in there. Easy. I'm more concerned that you said B59. Because I thought this was like yes. some bomber that I've never heard of before, so I Google it, and I see Soviet submarine. <laughs> I meant to say. What the fuck? What? Uh, imagine crashing on a runway after talking all that smack earlier. <laughs> no, see, I didn't crash. I tried to pull uh -huh, up, and uh -huh. my nose gear was stuck in the runway. <laughs> yeah, that's what oh. they all say. Yeah, I had to go back to the stream to watch it and see if that's what, ha what happened. Uh, and it's more fitting because Flying Apple said the snail is watching right as I died. Oh, or, well. That is creepy. Almost died. Yeah, the snail is watching. Hey, we got kind of a down here. Let's go. <clears throat> Bro, P51D with Aim9X. Have you heard about the, uh. Fuck, what is it called? You know? I can't remember what it's called now. But it's basically a uh, crop duster that the US military has. That has oh, yeah, Aim9Xs mock, on it. The, mock, the Sky the Warden. One crop duster? No, it, it's very much Have subsonic. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's. The, <laughs> dude, the Sky Warden thing is yeah. literally a crop duster that they strap missiles to. It does well, though. The Super Tucano would also be very nice, yes. You know, it hits different using the Skyray after seeing one in person. And realizing that this thing is fucking tiny. Damn, he's running full stealth belts. Okay, then he's that guy. <laughs> cool. Dude, the Sky Raiders are fucking huge. Like, everybody underestimates how big Sky Raiders were. What damage do I have? Oh, I'm missing a wing. Yeah, you need that. Come on. He's missing one aileron. On my screen, at least. To be fair, though, with the Sky Raider being bigger than a Hornet, the Hornet was uh, from the same program as the F-16. It was the light fighter program for the Air Force. But they selected the F-16, and Navy was like, Hey, we like this. It has two engines. Yeah, that was a wonderful game. Woo! You're worse here than you did in top tier. That's wild. <laughs> You guys have a good night. You yeah, too. Me too. Thanks for the games. I will uh, see you next weekend. Why next weekend? Uh, because.
because I got work in school. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, see you all later. Yeah, have a good night. Yep, you too. Dude, the YF-23 would have been great. It's one of those weird scenarios where both the F-22 and the YF-23 were honestly amazing, but each one had their own strengths. YF-23 looked cooler, though. I did, yeah. On a and I'll be honest, calling something a widow rather than a fucking raptor kind of sounds cooler. I mean, a raptor is a bird. So they literally named a self fucking air superiority jet after a bird. Yeah, but YF-23 Black Widow sounds cooler. Yeah. Everything about the YF-23 was just cooler. <laughs> yeah, Black Widow can kill you. Raptor cannot kill you. You see, if we're talking about the dinosaur, that'll fuck you up. But, like, you know. That, that, yeah, that, that dinosaur requires an entire body. A Black Widow is a fucking spider that can kill you, dude. Yeah. Smaller than your hand can still kill you. Raptor, yeah. like, two times your size. Obviously, that can kill you. You know, I forgot there like was a dinosaur called a raptor. Damn. Oh my god, it makes me want to play Turok Evolution. Because fucking Turok Evolution was like a PlayStation 2 game me and my brother used to play when we were kids. And there was raptors in it. And my favorite thing about that game was you could cut down trees. Like, it gave you a little axe, I guess, to fight the dinosaurs, and you could use it to cut down trees. So I would start this fucking game up just to cut down trees with an axe. Like, fuck killing the dinosaurs, I just want to cut down trees. Look at me, I'm a logging person. I can log. <laughs> wait, wait, okay, wait, 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 Kaboom, you're telling me the YF-23 was more maneuverable than the F-22? Despite not having thrust vectoring? That tail. The tail and the diamond wing, I think. I mean, it, it makes sense, but my mind cannot comprehend this. Alright, what do you want to play now? 9-3. Back to good old 9-3, you can grind SL. The buy said Mirage 2000, you wanted to Mirage 4000, you want to buy? It, yeah... Um... I'm trying... Wait, wait, wait. If I buy premium... <laughs> I'll be on a seven days is worth it. We'll just buy, yeah, seven days. <laughs> yeah, because if I get 30 days, then I will not have enough to buy premium again. If you get 30 days, you gotta, you better play in that 30 days. That's the problem. Yeah, that is a problem. <laughs> it's cheaper, but you, you gotta play. <laughs> Bodie, I cannot feasibly play the fox if I go to Britain and go to army I ain't got shit although you it is funny to? uh no <laughs> I don't even know Damn. that's what around four something I don't even see it what the fuck is the top Hulk. oh it's an event vehicle so you can't actually get it doesn't appear ah. on the fucking tech tree okay yeah that makes sense Although it is it's funny, like tiger. it is funny if I go to US and I'm still researching M4, A3, E2, and then I got M1, A2. That's just like the Israeli tree. <laughs> yeah, with my <Mike> Kafir. <laughs> Listen, if I could ask Gaijin for the fox, I would. I'm so ready for fucking Python 4s, man. Fucking the Delta V of an ER, but like the pull of an R73. And the flare resistance of like both the AIM-9M combined with the R73. Did At you least say... that's, that's the current, that's the current stats. Did you say Delta V? Yes, I said Delta V. Okay. Pretty sure Delta V does not apply to missiles. Eh, it kind of does. 
I have never heard anybody talk about missiles and use Delta V. I've only heard I mean, that with rockets. Really? That, yeah. You know what it means, though, right? I can't think... Of, like, I don't know the wording for it, but I know bigger is better. Yeah, the higher it's the Delta V, the more, like... It's just, just potential thrust that you have in the missile. Yeah, I was about to say it's... Fuck. What was I about to say? Because I already forgot. <laughs> That's why I prefer using Delta V than saying, Hey, the missile can go Mach 1.7. For example, <laughs> the, the fucking... <laughs> the chat. <laughs> I feel so racist today. Say the N-word then. Nickelodeon. <laughs> I'll say it. Ah, uh, cool. Thank you for hey, that. Man. No problem. Anytime. Yeah, I'm sure YouTube will love that. Oh, yeah, too bad. <laughs> Technically wasn't you. It's fine. Give an excuse. I mean, yeah, but... Still. Man, anytime someone's. I don't know why, I just have the urge. Anytime someone steps around it in chat. Like, oh, I'm gonna say it. Oh, I'm gonna say it. Just fucking say it. Are you <laughs> sure that you're not racist? <laughs> yeah, I'm not racist. I have a lot Are of you sure? friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> yeah. That is what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> You were indeed correct. He said the gamer word. Hey, it's kaboom. <laughs> Why? He's... What's the bet he's playing in F-104 and in space? You know what? I'm going to space. Like, if Kaboom is in space, it, it works out for me still, because I'll still outturn him. I'll just outturn him better. Is it an AV8C? I'm going to vomit. Actually, no, that's a C. Never mind. I'm not going to vomit anymore. I realize that's the tech tree variant. I'm fine. I take back my allegations. You know, I'm really glad you said something about him. Because uh, <clears throat> I was looking up for him, I wasn't looking down, and he was pitching right up for me. Oh, Shaisa, there's an SPSK on me. And there's an F100D coming in. Nikers. Yeah, there's a MiG-21. I think it's an SPSK. It is an SPSK. Okay. That's why I don't want to fuck with it, because it has our 60s Yeah. Um... Oh, cool, it gave me full fuel. Oh, lit. <laughs> no wonder you must feel like a bus. Honestly? I didn't even notice until just now. Although, it is a lot different, because instead of the usual, like, 13 Gs, I'm only pulling 8. Yeah, that is quite a big difference. Yeah. Did I tell you about the story where I logged on and it said you have been reported for these sorts of things and it was literally everything you could report a person for? <laughs> it, it said you've been reported by multiple players for all of these things. And I was like, okay, when the fuck did I ever do this? Yeah, usually, then, um, usually when I get that message, it's hate speech and xenophobia. Because the only time I get reported is talking shit about Chinese people. Yeah, it's more so I'm not talking shit about the people, I'm talking shit about the country. I just chat on two of hunt this Hunter f missiles by just pulling circles. That's a terrible shot. I fucking aimed way higher than I needed to. Alright, Kaboom, come here. Man, if I didn't take full fuel, I would have accelerated so much faster to catch up to him. Man, I've been dragging an F Hunter F8 and uh, AV8C behind me this entire time. Apparently, 
They're not realizing I am faster than them. <coughs> May not have clicked in their heads yet. Oh, is it clicking now? Rose is running to his airfield. What a pussy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it happens when you just sit there and eat your cum all day. Yeah, good point. <laughs> it happens when you sit there and stream snipe all day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, this is the far airfield with the AA. I didn't realize we passed the close airfield without AA yet. I was about to say, that missile's doing a lot of work to catch up to me. So, MiG-15 Biz is probably the worst thing I can turn fight with full fuel. Yeah. More so in the clouds when I lost visual on him for a second. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck he's out. Oh, there he is. Kaboom crashed. <laughs> That's typical of Kaboom to crash with no kills. Also, I just want to know how Kaboom crashed because there's nobody near him. Holy crap, the VTOL land failed horribly. <laughs> I'm here, we can get that teamwork badge, you know? I did so much teamwork here, it was insane. God, I, like, a few days ago I was doing extremely well with the Arietta. I quit playing it for a few days and now I can't aim. Can I, like, hold down my trigger? Okay, there we go. Oh, never mind. Use the wing of gone. Ah, uh, no it's not. Something fell off. His wingtip. Uh, it's still there. Oh, no, it was gone, okay. Yeah, no, it did very much was gone. Yeah, I was looking at him, it looked like he still had a whole wing. Holy shit, a Yak-30. That's terrifying. Anyways, I'm gonna RTP. Okay, Kaboom gonna said go... he hit a bunker. The fuck do you hit a bunker in a VTOL? <laughs> Just be bad at the game and you can hit anything. Or be good at the game and you can hit anything. Just be both. Aspire to be Either. Kaboom. Just be mediocre at the game. That makes no sense. What I just did. Uh... So what happened? Uh, so I, I went to go runway straight from at very low altitude, uh, and then I skimmed along the ground at 900 kilometers an hour while firing my guns, and then just left the runway. So, so the, 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 the all the paint on the bottom of my plane is gone. Uh, it, Not that it had any, but still, it'd be a lot more than just paint. <laughs> yeah, at 900 kilometers an hour, that's like extreme sandpaper. Yeah, you'd be missing your legs. <laughs> if Lieutenant Dan could fly a plane. Why am I putting myself through the through, through the through flying the F one hundred D, the worst F one hundred in the game other than the fucking trainer one that's in China. Hey. Uh, F one hundred D I could be flying the American one. Which is good. Also 
Well, yeah, I could be flying the American one, get aim nine E's, but no, I get four aim nine B's. That's it. You know, I'm glad you said that because I used to love the F100, and then Gaijin like it would go through cycles. Like one update, it would get nerfed. Next update, it'd get buffed, then nerfed, then buffed, and it just kept going through cycles like that. And I haven't played it in like at least a year now, so I'm gonna play it and see how it is right now. Let's see if it's in a like, is it buffed right now or is it nerfed? It's fine. You just, you just as long as you don't like prolong turn fight, like you're you're not you're not meant to do in an F100. You just like turn twice, and if they, you can't get them in the first two turns, you leave. So it's nerfed. That's how F100 is supposed to be played. But instead, every F100 player decides I'm gonna dogfight, bleed all the speed, and then guess what? It doesn't have any low speed thrust. It's too heavy. Yeah, like I was thinking, yeah, you used to be able to turn fight all day, but then yeah, back then it was mid 19. You can still turn fight. Like, that's back when it was facing MiG-19, so of course they would turn fight. It's like, you can still turn fight now, it's just better to just turn a bit, and then if it looks like you're gonna lose all your speed to go for the fight, just leave. Yeah. It's like, the, the oh, only man. skill you need to fly an F-100 effectively is knowing when to fuck off. Yeah. That's it. But 90% of F-100 players just don't, so they just, they stick with the fight, end up losing all their speed, and die. Like, I'm about That's to depressing. do. depressing. I do really love the F100, though. Yeah, the guns are nice. The fra airframe's nice. Everything is nice about it. <laughs> Damn, is yours spaded? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I spaded it in 2019. And I'm spading the worst one in this meta. <laughs> oh, fucking kill me. God, I love the sexy little catfish. Osama been lifted. <laughs> I've seen him before. <laughs> it's been a while, but I've seen him before. How many fucking people from the stream are in this chat? Holy shit. Or in the game. Fuck. Alright, so we got fucking Gaboom, the person who said the snail is watching, and now Synergy. <laughs> so that's at least three people from the stream that are in this match. Yes, the snail is watching. Oh, that's why I'm so fucking slow. I sit at the 30 minutes, and guess what? It put me on 35! I'm gonna fucking go <laughs> insane, dude. God, I, I don't know if I should climb or stay low. It's been so long since I played this. No fucking way, it's going above mock? Dude, the last time I played this, it couldn't even hit mock. You are at 6,000 meters. Still, the last time I played it, it couldn't hit mock. It didn't matter the altitude, high or low. Hmm. Oh, Scheisse. There's an A5C. And a T2. Wait, everyone's in an F100. Kaboom's in an F100. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> okay. It would seem it is F100 oh, gaming. No. Oh, good. Okay, he died. Dude, everybody loves F100. Like I said, it's a sexy little catfish. Well, Synergy's dead. Oh. <laughs> That's a magic one. Why do they have SMTs, man? Did I want my glorious 9.7 BR cap back? Are 
you talking about when 97 was the max PR? No, 97 had a cap. Nothing below 97 could go above 97. Nothing above uh. 97 could go below 97. It was great. But now it's just fucking. Hey, you play a 9 3, you get 10 3. Get railed. Oh shit, that's hey, a missile. What? Okay. And then you know what comes? You know what comes after that? It comes, it, 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 was it gonna be an R60 or a Magic One? Yep, still shooting me. Mm. All right, so that went well. Yeah, that did go well. It went better. We get a, went better than you know, I expected. If we don't expected. get a 10-3 up tier, they, they'll be fine. You just a 10-3 up tier, and we'll, we'll be right. We'll be right. It did honestly go a lot better than I expected, though. Mm. Actually, wait, what other 9-3s are there? 104, fuck that. Germany. Oh, Germany. Man, if only I had GE, or not GE, SL, I could use the MiG-19 S. Oh, uh, reminds me, I'm gonna go use the MiG-19. Yeah, I mean, I can do the PT. Which... Yeah, pretty much, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so fuck it. Uh, where it is? There it is. I'll do it even worse than the PT. <clears throat> I'm gonna met like, I spent fucking, like, years researching the MiG-19S. And I still don't have the SL for it. It's not that I was actively trying to, it was basically like I would use the JU-288 every time I needed SL. And I've just been researching MiG-19S the entire time. It's not, nice. yeah, it's not like I was actively going for it, but like, it's still been years. I don't know if I'm stuck or not. Like, it's not spade. wiggling. Oh, you probably don't have the EFS then. Oh, fuel. Hmm, fun. I was gonna say, you gotta love wiggling around the fucking fuel slider a bit just to make sure. Synergy, you gotta get the MiG-19. It's really good. MiG-19S is definitely better. Oh yeah, I mean having missiles is nice though. Yeah, but it, like, the R3S is... They're I know, shit but like, still having them are nice. They're shit boxes, but like, they're my shit boxes, okay? I would they rather. Give people to turn. I, I would rather have no missiles and better flight performance than shit missiles and worse flight performance. I remember when this thing was top dog. It was great. Those were the times when missiles were barely usable, and you just had to rely on your guns. Nope, I miss it. Also, do you remember when they added the F4C? Uh, and they modified the amount of drag on the MiG-19 S, but they accidentally removed it as like as a whole, so then it could super cruise. Oh, uh, great, dude! <laughs> like I remember, remember the tracer belts on Vulcans. Oh God! Uh, did the, the server gun pod. Did the server just yeah, lag for you? The okay. server just yeah, it did. I remember the fucking triple gun pod F4Cs with fucking full tracer belts. You couldn't Dude, see them when shooting at them. That's the only way I play it. <laughs> if I play the F4C right bullets, now, yeah. Like, oh, okay, I'm dead. If I play the F4C right now, that's exactly what I would do. That's the only way to play it. I'm pretty sure this thing can super cruise anyway. Uh, no. Oh, damn. Oh, well. But see, the main thing is, though, the MiG-19S, after that update with the F4C, it could supercruise in a climb. 
It had no drag. So it was like the only factor that was stopping it from like going faster than Mach 1 was removed. Why does Germany get everything that how Russia has but better? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're never getting a flanker. True. But they have a better MiG 29. Do they? Yep. It's the light variant with uh, all the good okay. payload options. Yeah, but Germany, like, as far as top tier, is just kind of fucked. Because, like, that MiG 29 is the best to get <laughs> until, like, the Typhoon is at it. But there's never going to be a flanker. And, like, they get the Typhoon, and then there's nothing else they can get. I do love doing head-ons with this thing. It is great. Too bad the guy had a fucking gun pot on. <laughs> you should've kept pulling up, you would've hit him. Yeah. And maybe um, also a building. Yeah, the building is the factor there. Like, it's worth it? You could kill civilians and him at the same time. You got Two a point. Oh, fuck. Blacked out. Yep. Damn. Everyone's fucking dying. Yeah, they do that. See, this thing is a lot better than I remembered it. Uh, but like, I have no G-suit, which is really fucking nice. Me. I'm also out of ammo now. Yeah, kaboom, 9-11 was definitely a combo because there was people that killed themselves and a bunch of innocent civilians. Was well, it and a destroyed combo, a building. Then? Bro, that's a triple. Yeah, but is it a full combo? Is it full combo double S? Ultimate oil un hunting plane B fifty two. Oh, that's in War Thunder. Uh, yeah, F fourteen is definitely good. Um, On a F-14 or F-15? Bro, this thing pulls fucking hard at low speeds. What the fuck? Yeah. I found a funny, I found a funny YouTube video. Oh, it's one of mine. That's not yours, but you, know, <laughs> you could you could be that guy. If with enough practice, you could you could be that good at guitar hero. I genuinely miss playing guitar hero because I had one of those actual like guitar controllers. I see. I used to love that shit.
Okay. I would say the F-14A is better than the F-14B simply because of the BR. Well, not right now. Because so many fucking premiums are out. Yeah, fair point. I don't know. I've always done worse in the F-14B than I have in the F-14A. Which... I don't understand why. Because it's a better plane. Oh shit, okay. I had to tab out for a second just so I could hear my own stream music. Just to see if it was the song I thought it was. Man wants me to do one match with the M1A2. Despite that last night I said I never wanted to play top tier ground again. Hey, you should try it, it's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do one match. See, that's the secret. You want me to do something I don't want to do it? Just wait until I'm streaming. If you ask me when I'm streaming, odds are I'll do it. Okay, so my MiG-19 is mostly stock. Uh, I just got wing repair. So I've got nice. compressor, gun upgrade, airframe, and wing repair. Let me get that Jizu. That would be a good idea. Okay, so I'm on A2. Yeah, I. F15 or F16? Pretty sure F16 would be better. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've got M9Ms on the F16, but I don't on the F15, so. You have ground attack ordinance on anything? <laughs> I have an A10. Yeah, at that point, that's good enough. I've also got an A6. <laughs> That'll that'll totally work in ground here, ground BR. <laughs> but get to ground to get the anti grub dum dum dum. Never mind. But the question is, should I do the A six or the A ten? Um, either one is death. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um. I don't know. I'll do A ten. Also, are you uh? Gonna switch to a ground vehicle? Yeah. You just haven't switched to ground RB. There you go. Okay, cool. It just switched automatically. That's neat. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You remember uh, when COVID first started? Gaijin did a, uh, a pack where you could get like a year of premium half off. And in that, yeah. in that pack, they gave you a toilet paper pack as a decoration for your tanks. Yeah. I bought that pack. Didn't get the toilet paper? No, I had the toilet paper. I don't anymore. Like, it was taken from oh. my inventory. Nice. Yeah. Like, I assume it would be under other, but it's just not there. Oh. Um, but if I go and look at my purchase history, I can see that I did, in fact, buy that pack. Should the F-20 be at 11.7? What beer is it now? I can actually check that. 12 I mean, What does it get? Fucking M9Ms and M7F? M9Ls, ooh. Yeah, I mean, honestly, 11.7 with the M9Ls does sound better. Look, if you play, the only reason you play top tier ground is because of the notion of, if I play top tier, I physically cannot be up tiered. <laughs> That's the only reason you play top tier ground, because you cannot be up tiered anymore. Being up tiered in ground is the worst thing. Me with my M1A2 at 11.7.
spawn pop spawn by the way. Otherwise you're gonna get fucking railed. You get railed anyway, but still. Yeah, I'm gonna get fucked. Who needs butchers, am I right? When in doubt, four body pillars. And believe, am I right? <laughs> By the way, we lose this game. Hard. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, this is not good. I don't have a keybind for thermals. Ah, good job. Yeah, I, I, I hold, used hold to. And click on it. <laughs> ah, fuck. Ah. Ah. Night vision mode? We'll try that. Because I think that does thermals. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm set. I was about to say, like, I used to have a keybind for it. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, lovely. Cool. So, uh, I'm going to die. Just believe. I'm going to be being I, shot. Well, I can't move. I'm not being shot at right now. What did you get hit by in the first place? I don't know. I got hit by something, and it took out my engine. I'm ah, too fucking heavy to pull, okay then. I'd rather Solid. tell you. And then we back up, because we lost A point, and we, right. we lost hard. <laughs> ah, an artillery. That's great. That's minor issues. Hey, my artillery got a hit, though. Oh, nice. He's just blind firing with a machine gun and hitting me. Fucking amazing. No! Kaboom, this is your fault. There's a COD 52 up. Oh yeah, I know. Okay. Like I'm dead to him, because, you know. Oh, that's neat. I can't spawn. Oh, he died. I could spawn in an air, so I'm gonna do that and then just fucking kill everyone that spawns in airplanes, cause fuck Rucker. If they get any air, we lose. And guess what? They have air. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, dude, I set my minimum fuel to 11 minutes. Why is it giving me 16? Like, uh. And I'm already being locked by a MiG 29. It's always a wonder to me how they know exactly where and when you spawn. Yeah, people don't cheat in War Thunder at all. Yeah, a lot of a lot of more people cheat in ground than anything. 
Which, I mean, makes sense. Also, somebody in chat called somebody else a noob, and I'm just kind of amazed by the fact that people still use noob as an insult. Yeah. Like, kind of weird. I didn't think that was still a thing. To him, it is. <clears throat> uh, Synergy, it's not that cheating in War Thunder is weird, it's that cheating in any game is weird. Cheating in War Thunder is a wild concept, though. I can say this though, at least if you're gonna cheat, cheat in a free game. Not a game that you paid money for. Yeah. I say as my GTA account has like fucking 13 billion dollars on it because I used the mod menu. I mean everyone did though. I'm not waiting 20 hours just to get a fucking... <clears throat> okay, can this fucking helicopter royally fuck off? Where is he? Here, I'm dropping the drop tanks. Yeah, there yeah, it is. Fuck you. I'm gonna gun run two Sams. I did nothing to that Sam with all those bullets. This is lovely. I'm honestly just amazed that you're still alive. Yeah. I'm wondering where that, um... SU-27 is, though. That's my current issue. I've got an idea. the SPA, the fuck? He redded my pilot with a machine gun. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Making it that way that they, uh, people can only buy a premium when they're level 20 to 30 oh, would be the best thing I could do. Yep, there it is. That's that's the only thing that hits me. That close? It's a fancy. deer. Oh boy, I fucking love it. Alright, now you see... When in doubt, get into a fucking Toyota. <clears throat> I love that the clerk is going off to kill someone else instead of capping the point that needs to be decapped, <laughs> otherwise we lose the fucking game. Oh, uh -oh. yeah, that's not good. Damn it, I nearly hit the point as well. <laughs> Too bad that guy spawned at the exact fucking moment. Idea, spawn in, kill one guy, and then say fuck that guy. What up? Free XP. Damn, pop their ground. It's great. Alright, so. 
I will not. Don't play it at all. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> going to play Top Tier Ground again for another couple of years. It's fucking terrible. 10-3 Ground? Kind of better. 10-3, 11-0, that's nice. Top Tier? Fucking awful. Yeah, see, I prefer a 4-7-5-3 lineup. Much better. Hmm, I see. I'll be back. Give me a second. He'll be back, he says. Give him a second, he says. I'll see us to a crow. Great car. Very reliable. Damn, the real shocker is that I have any research in the Swedish ground. Why? I know Italy had something turned to this fucking thing. Yeah, Battle Pass. Fucking hated it. However, Sweden. Got no fucking clue why I have anything done there. I got no clue why I got anything crude in Sweden. Speaking of Chiha, that reminds me of the Kalchi. I'm back. I'm about to sneeze. You should play a uh, six O naval. It's pretty fun. I don't even know what BR I have for naval. I got five O. Probably don't. Damn, that's actually quite high. Well, five O tech tree or five O premium? <laughs> five O premium. It's the Moffat. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds about right. But I mean, I got the Sumner and the Fletcher. Oh, and the uh, Detroit. Should have grinded the Alaska when it was free. Yeah, see, the thing is, I don't care about naval. Yeah, but it's in Alaska. Oh, wait, no, it's not the Alaska. It was the, uh... Fucking, I don't know. It was something that was free. I don't know, there's something about British ship names that is just funny to me. Like, you have the HMS Marlboro. That's a fucking cigar. And then you also have, like, the HMS Colossus. Okay, cool, it's big. The Glorious, the Invincible. The Invincible probably died, I'm not gonna lie. The yeah. Dreadnought, okay. Pretty... The York. They've had, uh, you see... <laughs> there was several British ships under the name Invincible that have sank. Like, you uh... See, they couldn't was... put New York, so they just went HMS York. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you have the best ship of them all, the fucking Liverpool. HMS Eskimo. And then, and then you have the fucking HMS Hood, which was kind of dog shit. And kinda went, it kind of went boom, go figure. The HMS Hood did have the biggest guns in the game, but now that belongs to Japan. As it should be. Actually, these rounds are fucking ass. What the fuck happened? God damn. I think the Hood still has the best guns. Is. Yeah, the hood still has the best guns in the game, <laughs> in terms of like explosive <clears throat> mass. So, anyway, we're playing nine three, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, actually, you know, I'm gonna go have fun. I'm gonna play something fun that's in Israel. Everything fun's in Israel. I don't fucking know why. <laughs> Okay, 9-3. Oh, you know what? It's 9-7, but I'm doing it anyway. What? The GR1? I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> no, I do. That's Rams. Yeah, but... I've played it recently. It went well. Okay. I'll believe you. By recently, I mean a couple weeks ago. 
Yeah, recently is like a month ago. Oh, like, yeah. oh, when did you do that? Oh, yeah, no, I did it. I did it. I did it a bit ago. It was like maybe last week. You look at the fucking log because it's been like fucking half a year. <laughs> Change your fuel, just to be sure. Change it five times in a row, just to be really, really sure. Yeah, I'm doing minimum. Should be fine. I have... Rato's. I am a little concerned. Why? Uh, I went to like 40-something percent for the VTOL to take off. I take off when my plane starts like... Rolling back Wiggling. and forth. Nice. The only A4 I will actually play. Oh, cool. Okay, I want it minimum fuel, but it gave me 25 minutes. Ah, this update <laughs> fucking sucks! This made, like, this made everything worse. The fuel sliders made everything worse somehow. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's so fucking broken. And it's not like it made it a bit worse. It made everything just horribly worse. You either get a minimum or you get a fuel full. It, it broke fucking everything. And it still doesn't give us what we wanted. Dog shit game. Do not play. Downvote. Minus rep. Shit developers. Small indie company. Yes. Small indie company. <laughs> Look, dude, at this point I'm convinced they offload to a small indie company. I know Rockstar does. Listen, if you remember when Rockstar came out with the GTA trilogy that they remastered, they didn't even make oh. it. They basically just put that onto a game company that makes phones for cell phones. Or makes games for cell phones. Which is why it was so fucking dog shit. And all they did is just, like, a reskin. They did the same thing the fucking mod community has been doing for the last, like, 20 years, but they did it worse. Somehow. And then charged $60 for it. Hey, and then some people bought it. It's like the fucking Star Wars Battlefront Remastered Collection. Yeah, if, if uh, the trilogy wasn't so fucking dog shit, I would have bought it. But now it's like, I look at it, it's like, bro, it looks like fucking shit. Like, it looks worse than the original. And it's like, I guess, like, me thinking it looks worse than the original, it just comes down to, like, I'm so used to how the original looked. Once we get 10 3, man. Uh, I really love SRAMs. I just wish I could get close to somebody so I could actually fire them. Or I could just get team killed. That works too. Team killed by a buccaneer. How the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it that new buccaneer? Oh, it is. It was commando underscore forty five. I can one v one make twenty one MF surely. Ah, uh, little does he know I have a better engine. This is the better one. 
Yeah, fuck. That is the first time I have hit all of my shots immediately with this gun. I love the spotting system that A5C was. Ah, yeah, the A5C team killed it. The, 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 the team killed. And missed all those bullets. So. This game is going swimmingly. Kaboom sends his first message in like 20 minutes, and it's just, I'm gonna take Adderall. Must be hitting in now. Man, it, it's so fucking unfair because if I take Adderall, I'm just gonna calm down. Fucking jealous of people who don't have ADHD so they can get high off of Adderall. Where if I take ADHD, I just turn into a fucking zombie. I've got a fucking brilliant idea. See, their airfield is on an elevated platform, therefore. The AA can't hit you. Their missiles don't shoot me. Yeah. Therefore, this guy. About to get killed in an SMT by an A4. Alright, so now you just gotta dodge all the roll ones. Or yeah, you I'll could just rip wing my rip. wing off. <laughs> Checked out! Back to the lobby. What if it went from a Kiwi to an Indian man that works at the closest gas station? I mean, yeah. Oh, I could really punish myself and use the lightning. You're saying that like it's a punishment. It is. How? The thing is fucking dog shit. How? Because it is. I think you just have a severe skillish. No, the thing is just dog shit. Also, they nerfed red tops. Which makes I it mean, even worse. Yeah. Damn, and it only yeah. gets two red tops. Yeah, but you still get <clears throat> halfway decent type performance. Speed. Yeah. I never liked Hopes it. and dreams of all the British. All the anger of the people who overhyped it and thinking it was actually a good aircraft. That too. Also, this is probably going to be my last match. I see, I see. What a good match to end it on. Adjust your fuel, like, five times, just in case. Yep. <clears throat> you know, this is kind of good. It's getting me into the habit of checking my fuel every fucking game. Because I go to custom games, then I forget to check my fuel when I go into a normal game, and I'm like, I, I run out of fuel midway through the battle, I'm like, ah, shit. Yeah, I mean, there's that as an advantage. Man, I will never forget how people overhyped the Lightning so fucking much into thinking it had a thrust to weight ratio greater than the F-15. Yikes. Like, that was a common problem when the F- or the Lightning was first added to the game. Is people thought they would be able to hit Mach 1 going vertical, like the F-15. But they thought it would do it faster than the F-15. They genuinely thought it had a higher thrust to weight ratio than the F-15. Absolutely fucking baffling. When are they gonna add a MiG-25? Probably never, it'd be useless. It'd be useless, but it'd be cool as shit. It'd be cool. I'll give you that. <clears throat> All you're doing it is go up, you'd play it like a kafir. Except, you don't have any sort of defensive mechanism like the kafir. You just have speed. You would go up, and just bait all of the missiles. Also, I fucking hate the lightning. Like, in the, the bullshit fucking one engine on top of the other bullshit that they got going on, is I gotta fucking roll the plane to look normal from behind. Nah. <laughs> it's 
so fucking stupid. Like how every update, people will, people will come out and be like, Oh my god, this new plane is so cool, it can super cruise. That's insane. Like I was on the dev server and people were saying the F-15 can super cruise and the F-16 can super cruise. It's so cool. And I just, I just, I look at them in disbelief. <laughs> like you never, it's been in the game. A lot of things can super cruise. You're just fucking stupid. Yeah, uh, it's nothing new. It's although, boom. although it is fucked because nothing in the game should be able to super cruise. Hey, bottom right. Yeah, that's you. I'm not worried about him. I'm a lot faster than he is. Although I'm not faster than Aim Nanji. Or am I? Do you have a B29? You are. You are definitely uh, faster. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not. <laughs> really? Did you get hit? Oh damn, you did. So sad. Maybe if you maneuvered a bit. Yeah, I mean, flying straight just was an option. up in front of me. Or if you flew a bit more upwards, in an upward angle, then you'd probably dodge it. Kaboom? Okay, I was gonna say, uh, I swear to god, if Kaboom put out the fire. I was going to be highly annoyed, my friend. Uh, every time I see somebody say anything about the B-29, it makes me want to play Fallout New Vegas. It's all I can think, after like playing through Fallout New Vegas, and dealing with the boomers, every time I hear or see the B-29, that's all it makes me want to do, is play Fallout New Vegas. But what a good fucking game. Oh, okay, Kaboom's team has a B-29. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop streaming War Thunder and just go stream Fallout New Vegas. We'd have a better time doing that. Bro, it's a game I can't hate. Even with all the bugs. It's a game you can't hate. It's literally impossible. Because the bugs in Fallout New Vegas just make the game better. Like, cool, you walk into a fucking building so you can buy goods and you hear something like slamming the floor 5,000 times per second. It's like, yeah, that's a dead body somewhere, but you know what it is, and it's cool. All right, Senator, you too, my dude. Have a good night. I will never understand F3H2 players. Good point. That thing is good in one turn, and it is like the king of one turn. I am a big demon fan. Does. I love the demon. I've always like, had a good I, time in it. Every every other turn after the first one, I see a demon do is just death. Also, he has no fucking wings. What the fuck, man? I'm preheating my oven to go make pizza, and then I'm gonna go play Helldivers too. Do you have Helldivers 2? I do not. Fuck, it's such a fun game. Yeah, I really want to try it. They're probably going to do a free weekend. Maybe. If it's anything like Deep Rock Galactic, they'll probably do like a free weekend where people can play the game. I mean, yeah. Kaboom, that is actually a really good idea to stream the Master Chief Collection. Like, I have genuinely, be, like, here lately, I've been thinking about playing uh, the Master Chief Collection a lot, like, starting with Combat Evolved. Because I have not played Combat Evolved in, like, ten years. Which is also the last Halo I played. Does the MiG-20, does it still do the thing? Hold up. Also, I've never played Story Mode for Halo 2. Only time I ever played Halo 2 was at a friend's house, so we were just doing multiplayer. So yeah, streaming a Master Chief Collection and going through the story would actually be great. 
does, I assume Master Chief Collection has it where uh, you can invite friends and they can go through the story with you, right? And go up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that would actually be really good. That's how I beat uh, Halo 3 back in the day on Xbox 360. It was just with a friend that lived down the street, so he was over at my house. Reverse Cobra, let's go. Oh, GG. And speaking of fucking streaming Halo, it's like a while back when I started streaming Destroy All Humans. And then I said I will only play the game if I stream it. And I only streamed it one night and I haven't streamed it since, so I haven't played the game Bro, since. I remember playing that game so much on my PS2. Holy shit. I I have one of them for PS2. Like I still have my PS2. Oh. I have one of the deals, Destroy All Humans for PS2. I think it is the first one. I just never got far into it because I was always so busy by the time I was like finally able to get it. Such a I good see. game though. And they remastered it for PC. Uh, back in like 2020 or some shit. Got it. Great fucking game. I was really enjoying it. And I literally said on stream that I will only play Destroy All Humans if I stream it. And I've kept that promise. I have not played it since. Like if I look it up right now in my library. I have not played it since May 22nd, 2022. The issue is. Like since I only wanted to play it while I streamed it. And I haven't streamed it since. I haven't played the game. Which is honestly a shame, because it's a um, fucking amazing game. Then there's a uh, fucking Detroit Become Human that I got with the intent to stream it. And I haven't streamed that either. So all I'm hearing is, you mean to stream games, but you only stream fucking War Thunder. Yeah. And then you stream War Thunder, and then you say... And then you, and then you while, while streaming War Thunder, you, you acknowledge the game is shit to stream. Yeah. So the is you stream all the games. The the main issue is I want to stream these other games, but like the views don't go good. Like I don't get a lot of viewers anyway, because small YouTuber. But um, it, like that's my only income, so I kind of got to rely on those views. So if I'm not getting good enough views, then it's not worth it. As much as I want to do it, which is a damn shame. Detroit become human as mid. That is a hot take. I mean, I haven't played the game, so I don't know how it is, but I know people fucking love it. What other game did I get with the intent to stream? I don't know. I have Bully Scholarship Edition that I could stream. Which would honestly be great, because that is a fucking god tier game. I never played the Scholarship Edition. I just have the original Bully on PS3 that I played. Uh, when we first moved to North Carolina, it took like a month to get internet. So I was going through like GTA 5, uh, Saints Row 3, Jack and Daxter, and Bully. And I never finished Bully because we got internet. <laughs> but alright, that is going to do it for the stream. So. You bought Master Chief Collection and you were able to complete Combat Evolved. Combat Evolved is my favorite Halo. It's so fucking good. I say that though and I have... The only other ones I've played is 3 and Reach. And it's been a long time since I've played them. But Combat Evolved is amazing. Fuck the Flood though. I fucking hate the Flood. Anyways, yeah. That is going to be the end of the stream. So, have a good night. And I'll see you in the next stream.